All right, so before we get into it, I'm gonna give you guys a little small recap, okay? Just a small little recap. So if you've missed any of the past streams, that's why they're on YouTube, babes. But if you just need like a refresher, basically we killed off Aaron. We thought we killed off, uh, what's his name? Hold on, Charles, Charlie. We thought we killed him off, but it turns out that he was just like hiding under some bars in like a little man-made oven. And so I think the person who's trying to kill us thinks that he's dead but he's not he's alive and that's where we left off at and everybody's trying to make it to the lighthouse to escape but they all got separated that's kind of what has gone down recently i don't think i'm missing anything yeah i don't think i'm missing anything so one person is dead everybody else is alive i'm doing my best things are good i'm so stressed out <laughs> See, he's checking. He's checking. And he thinks we're dead because the shirt is full of blood, so. <coughs> but there we are. Damn. He's a little smoky. Find a way out. Okay. Let's see. Well, there's nothing in here because everything's been burned to the ground. Um. Yeah, I don't want to look at that yet. Hold on. That's locked. Okay. And that is. Okay, let's inspect this real quick. Okay, I'm done inspecting. I'm scared. Hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on. I have something that shows... Hold on, is it this one? Okay. Is it that? Is that in this room? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, yep. Thank you for the coin. Please, let's go. Oh, also, so... Also, y'all, if you didn't know... The guy that was that brought us to this island, the guy who was pretending to be Dumet, um, because you know after I was like editing the videos, I was seeing, looking back, he came here with his whole family, because he was invited by the original Dumet, and now it's just him, and we found his wife dead somewhere in the house. So I don't know, but it seems like he's in on it, and I don't, I don't know if he like wants to be spared. Or, or, you know, he's helping Dumet with this so that he spares him and his children. Maybe that's why they escaped. I have a theory. So what if he invited him and his whole family to come over? And he, because he was nervous the entire time. And what if the guy was like, if you can get another group, a whole group, I'll let you and your daughter live. You know, I'll let you and your daughter go. And in like the first dream, they escaped and they looked like they were hiding. So I think that's what it is. I think that they were tricked into coming through and he killed most of his family and said, you know, if you can get another group to pull up, I'll let you live. So I don't know, that's my theory now, but I don't know, I might be wrong. 
This music is so unsettling. Ooh, I don't like this room at all. Kind of looks like an escape room. I like escape rooms, but this is a little scary because I don't think I can escape it. I don't think I can escape. Turn the light on. Turn the light on. Hey, where's your lighter? I can't see anything in here, guys. I can't see. Find a way to power the workshop? I mean, if I could see. I can't see anything. Oh, hell no. Sorry. Hello? Federal Bureau of Investigation, Department of Justice. Listen, y'all, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I can't see a damn thing. It's really dark in here. Well, listen, if we kill him off, I tried. I did what I could. I'm gonna need more information than this. What is this? Examine? Put your, put your little thingies away from it. We're not pressing that button. We're not doing it. We're not pressing it. button I'm supposed to press. Yeah, fuck this. Let's press this button. Ooh, what's this? What's this? Okay, keep off. Uh, riding on the conveyor at any time can cause severe injuries. Entanglement hazard. Remember to switch off and lock out. Stay clear of the moving belt. Evacuate via the immediate emergency ladders. Okay, so we don't want to get on top of it because it'll kill us, so let's not do that. I'm not going to press this. Okay, hold on. Let's just press it to see what, what, what happens. Don't get on it because I will restart because I didn't tell you that you can get on it. No, no, no. I'm not doing that. Oh, you can't even press it anymore. I'm not doing that shit. Uh, I don't know what to do, so we're just gonna press those little buttons next to the robot guy. And see what goes on with that. Um... They... Never... Hurt... Anyone. <laughs> just leave them alone. We'll do whatever you want. this let's let's see if we could turn this off I can't turn it off okay what? all 
All right. Um, I can kind of see from here. I can I can see, but I don't think there's anything down there. But I don't want to risk it. I'm a little nervous. I don't want to risk it. I mean, if it's all I can do, then that's what I'll do. But I don't know. I wish I could take something and put it on the conveyor belt and then run around and see if something happens to it or not. Because that would help me, you know, know if it's safe or not. Well, let's take our chances. Oh, hell no, bitch. Get up, get up, get up, get up. No, 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 no. Sorry. 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 I pressed it and I pressed X at the same time. So I'm not trying to hear it. Don't bully me, YouTube. Don't bully me, chat. We're going to redo it. Don't let him die. I'll be so upset. Oh, my God. Are you serious? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. No. Would you like to overwrite the current save or create a new? Override it. Sorry, y'all. I'm not. I'm not. It's because my nails are long. It hits the X. It hit the X. My finger's ready. Oh my god, I got it. die so bad oh my god I pressed a accidentally no more no more stop stop no more no more gosh that was so stressful that was so stressful oh this girl oh I forgot about this shit Jamie. Thank God. Oh my God. What the hell is this? The mirror was two-way. It's totally a little pervert creeper room. Demet is watching us and sneaking around between the walls. Listen, I found out some new information. What? That guy on the ferry? That was not Dumet. Mm -hmm. That was Joseph Morello. Yep. He's a true crime writer. I found one of his books. How's he wrapped up in this? I don't know. I know. In one of the bedrooms, there was a body, a woman. She'd been decapitated. It was Joseph Morello's wife. I saw a photo of her. She was called Michelle. So we're not his first victims. Have you seen Mark? 
Not in person, but I spotted him on one of these monitors. Thank God. I was worried sick about him. I'm but so distracted by their... I also saw running around. By the way that they're looking. It's a little funny. Like they're just not looking at each other. Just looking into space kind of thing. Oh my god. He's got video feeds, recording decks, a mixer big enough for countless mics. Ew. He's watching everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. He can control the whole building from here. How far down does it go? This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. Oh, wow. I see. Investigate the control room. OK. Charlie would say this guy is a fractured psyche. That he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different personality. That's probably just his theory because he can't reconcile a human doing this stuff. I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. He is in full control of what he's doing. He's just not wired like the rest of us. <laughs> That's not crazy. All right, from Amber Harris. Crazy implies out of control. Okay. Look at this place. Okay. This is methodical. That's not crazy. No. Let me read now. Okay. Wait, he's wearing the mask as part of the performance. At best, maybe he's insecure about something and it gives him confidence. Insecure? Like, low self-esteem? Is he uncomfortable at parties? Does, did his mommy not hug him enough? Bad parenting can definitely be a factor, but it could be a shitty dad just as much. Or an uncle, any adult figure, really. Don't you read any of our research? Mm, I just set up the lights. I'm sure he fits the profile. Bullied as a kid, unchecked anger. As an adult, he's either an extreme overachiever or a cipher. Nothing between. I really appreciate all this information. If you guys could just give me a moment to read this paper, please. He likes being in a position okay, never of power. Mind. I'll read it Especially in a over women. Okay, cool, but why? Lots of people put up with that stuff and don't turn into killers. Aside from the unhealthy obsession with H.H. H. Holmes, he's copying the M.O. Clearly, he identifies with Holmes somehow. He's been tracking us since we arrived. Mark was last seen in the basement. Can we use this gear to find a way out? Maybe we can open those shutters in the lobby. Charlie was last seen in the furnace. In the south corridor, north corridor. Yeah, Aaron's the only one unaccounted for. They think Charlie's dead, but Charlie is not. All right. Let me go back and read this. Thank you. Let me go back in and get my reading in. All right. Um, from Amber Harris, wait, hold on. They have a book by, uh, behind there. It says Ethics of Man's Space Exploration Breakthrough uh, Stasis Technology Unveiled. I, I, I can't read that. Unveiled. Hidden Depths of Europa. Thank you, Brandon. I have instructed our maker to proceed. We will keep you updated on progress with photographs at each stage of, as promised. As discussed previously, we'll keep the production discreet. Thanks, Amber. Good morning, Amber. Thanks for your reply and putting my mind at rest. Yes, the cost is perfectly fine. Please go ahead. Reminder, this should remain confidential. Good morning, Brandon. I can assure you that all of our custom masks are very robust. They are often used in long-running theater productions and filming intense action scenes. The material used for your mask is a plastic, resin-coated wood, which, makes, which provides a toughened strength and is highly durable. The total cost would be uh, $1,800 excluding taxes can you let me know if this is acceptable and i will instruct our maker to proceed thanks amber 
Can I pick it up? Like, I want to turn it around. I guess not. Okay, so he had that mask made. And it's very durable, so... At least I know later, if I'm gonna, like, stab him somewhere, it's not gonna go through the mask. Chicago Police! Mr. Monday, this is Chicago Police. Can you open the door, please? Mr. Monday, I'm Officer Stanley with Chicago Police Department. Can you hear me, sir? Agent Monday. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Uh. Dispatch, this is Officer Stanley. I, I need assistance at 8 West 50th Street requesting immediate backup. I'm in Agent Monday's apartment. There's, there's blood everywhere and, and a body. I need immediate support. I think... Oh, Got choked out. Huh? Unfortunate. <sighs> Take a look at this. What is that? The guy we saw murdered. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He was... So he was watching that screen, so does he know that we're alive? I mean, Charlie or Charles or whatever. He was watching that and we were over there. It was a setup. There was no groundskeeper. Oh, well, you saw a guy in a yellow no jacket. Wait, there skull. was. I guess that was Mr. Demet. Oh, I see. Let's go upstairs first and then we can go all the way down. I'm really scared. What if he comes through one of these doors? What is this? Hi, Mr. Monday. This is Lucinda Price from Twilight Prairie Care Home. I tried to call you a couple of times. We, um... I... I understand that you're making voice recordings of your mother. And we do believe in supporting relatives. And of course, you want to capture this precious memory. But, uh... We've had some complaints from some of the other residents who are disturbed. Disturbed by the volume of the recordings. Oh, that's weird. And also some of the language used. We would like to ask that these recordings stop with immediate effect. Please do call me if you want to discuss this further. Thanks. Okay, so in the beginning of the game, there was this old woman rocking in a rocking chair, so I'm assuming that she's not real, and he recorded his actual mother uh, to make this duplicate or whatever, which is weird. Okay, so this is... This uh, is the next scene, so I don't want to touch that yet. I'm going to keep looking around. So he's Monday? I think so. I think he might be Monday. Oh my god, look! It's us! Oh my god, he was planning this for a long time. Hold on. Let's look at this. What is this? Okay, open it up. This, this is everything about me. Jesus. Okay, let's see. Let's read about Jamie. So I'm gonna just like move my camera so you guys can see with me. Uh, no, 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 don't. Hello, I'm trying to. Can I please read the book? Thank you. Open it back up, please. Thank you. Alright. Jamie is 26, born in August, female, African American, blood type A, plus uh, eye color brown, name of medical clinic, medical number, insurance number, let's see, additional notes, self-destructive tendencies, impulsive, Kate Wilder, 30, female, Caucasian, O negative, um, Let's see. She has anxiety, she's allergic to penicillin, and she has PTSD. All right. Let's see, Erin Kin, 26. Um, female, uh, blood type B plus, eye color brown. Let's see. She has an inhaler, she has asthma, 
She's allergic to house dust mite, pollen, and house pets. And she has self-confidence issues. And then Mark, let's see. Wait, why does it say Ferryman on the right? Why does it say that under his name? Huh. Let's see. Go back to the first page? Let me see. Does it say it on here too? No, it doesn't. It only says it under his name. That's really interesting. Oh, I knew this guy was a narcissist. It says it at the bottom. Alright, let's see. I mean, he's got nothing. No chronic conditions, no allergies, doesn't take any medication. Uh, yeah, that's it. And he's a smoker and borderline narcissistic. But yeah, they call him Ferryman. Uh, the only- the only thing that I can think of right now is that in the beginning of the game they told us to collect the coins to give to the ferryman uh, when someone dies. I, I don't know what that means though, like, here. I don't know why they put that under his name. He's profiling us. Michelle, initially appeared excited, becoming increasingly agitated. Rarely alone, more difficult to separate her. Wandered the hotel later last night. Opportunity? Bathed away from family room. Noticeably tired towards the end of the day. Drink socially, use this, heavy sleeping pills. Target her at the end of the day, give wine and sleeping pills when bathing. Separate her. Is there like a pen or a pencil? Oh, a pencil, so I can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's read. Harrison Lee, death via uh, asphyxiation. Reset trap before the next group arrives. Lewis Lee, drowned. Fish body out of a pool. Cecile Hall, death from blood loss after impalement on a sundial. Body disposed of. Kurt Hall, multiple gunshot wounds. Thomas Hall, single gunshot wound. Execution. Who the hell is this? June Collins, 41 years. Open-minded, simple to coerce, healthy, seemingly no major health issues within a thousand kilometers. Nuclear family of five, estranged extended family, fluent in Spanish and French, ambidextrous, travels a lot, runs late at night, runs when traveling as well. Damn, this guy is really on the money, like he's on it. Oh my god, there's somebody else. The first. Yeah, these are, are all people that have been murdered before. Andrew Collins, 38 years old, average build, did amateur boxing, deal with first, question mark? Unknown medical condition, follow up on this. Right-handed, insecure, question mark? Small but close extended family, will they call them? One parent deceased, other ill. Medical bills, pressure? Caffeine addict. Time to get on out of here, I guess. Over here! Let me keep my hands on the controller. I never know what's about to happen. Look at this. It saw his little tricks of moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. I want to find Mark. Not play Demet's game. If we trap him, we can look for Mark without looking over our shoulders the whole time. Yeah. Okay, look, he's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of it. But I'm sure he, he has a way. Okay, but how do you make sure he goes down that hall to begin with? One of us is going to have- To be bait. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. 
I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. There's no second chances here. It's my plan. I'll be the bait. If you're sure. Jamie, just... I don't want it you to be like the bait. looks like it's going south. Get the hell out of there. No argument here. Damn it. Uh, nervous or confidence? Uh, I'm, I, I need it. I might need that. Wait, Did wait, wait! No! No, 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 no! I didn't! I thought I was Jamie! They, they're telling me I'm gonna play as Jamie. Oh my god. That, that wasn't very clear. I guess I'm just gonna have to do that. I didn't mean to, but whatever. Here, take it. I didn't think that that if was gonna happen. the mech comes for you, fuck his shit up. Aww. Oh, Damn, okay. I did not think... That's enough of a moment. Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. So how do we get out? <sighs> Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. All right. Here goes nothing. I think I'm gonna kill her off, y'all, accidentally. I think... I think it's over. Let's see, though. Oh, I'm so nervous. I don't I really like Jamie. I don't want to kill her off. I just need her to live. Out of everybody, that's all I care about, so... Head down the hall. Keep to the right. Damn, y'all live like this? Oh my god. It's looking real rough in here. Stop. Was this on the map? Oh, fuck no. <sighs> fuck! <laughs> I scared myself. Damn, that was... <laughs> oh my god. More rooms being built. He's building more <laughs> rooms? What a freak. <laughs> Damn, another coin? I doubt I found all of them, but I found a good amount. That angle scared me. The door. Ah! God! Wait, there's something in my eye. These little, my blanket has been shedding like crazy and it keeps getting in my eye. My God. Okay. 
Okay. All right, it's time to go. Oh, God. I'm tired of these jump scares. I'm, like, really sick of them. Shit! No way it was that easy. I'm you're lying to me. <laughs> I told y'all. wants this to be a game. symbol on it. What, what, what does it... Shit, no! I should have taken the the screwdriver. I'm sorry, I have to. Oh my god. If I had the screwdriver, I'm so upset because that's that's so annoying that I wanted to keep the screwdriver for myself. And if I had kept the screwdriver for myself, I feel like we could have done something with the button. Because the button is on my side, it's not on hers. So whatever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. It's not on you. You hear me? You go, go! I don't want you to watch. I'm not letting you die alone. Please stop it. Stop, 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 stop. No, it's not, not like this. Please! <laughs> what an excruciating way to go. Jamie pressed the button to kill Kate. 
I know they didn't always see eye to eye, but I didn't think she'd be that cold-blooded. It's a catchy tune, isn't it? Erin's Don't Be Scared song. Sadly, it didn't work. Meanwhile, Charlie has proved himself capable, surviving the furnace and every other obstacle. Who would have thought it? Did the hint I gave you earlier help? Not at all. I don't know what the fuck you're talking Perhaps about half like the time. Another. I'll take it. Let's see if Sir Arthur can help us. This is from The Man with the Twisted Lip. Have you read it? You should. A trusty comrade is always of use, and a chronicler still more so. I think that last bit might refer to me. You should get back. I hope these chats are helpful. I certainly wouldn't want them to be intimidating. I'll be watching your progress. As always, watching very closely. Guys. Fuck. Woo! Let's not hang around. Whoa, my God. Where's Mark at? <laughs> Is this Charlie? Charles? Oh, Mark! Mark! It's been a while, buddy. <laughs> How are you? Careful. Woo, be careful. <laughs> He's coming out with us? Please, no. Get away from me! Wait, I have to scratch my eye. Okay. Oh, you're hiding? Oh, fuck. Hmm. Oh, no. Scream, don't scream, don't scream. <laughs> Did 
this is OD, bro. What the fuck, dude? Stop! I got them all right. Stop giving me more. Please, like, chill, chill, chill. Chill out. Chill out. No more, no more. He's gonna kill it? You freak. No more, no more. They want me to run or stay. I think I'm, I, I, I don't know what to do, bro. Like, come on, don't put this shit on me. Nah, he went through and hit every single thing. What if he hits mine? I did everything right and you still putting this shit on me? This is crazy. Um, I already, I, I did enough, I'm staying. If this thing kills me, I'm over the game. Like, I'm, I'm upset. Oh, wow, they got me. They got me. Don't fall, don't fall. Oh no. No, no! Get your fucking hands off me! Save? I'm saving her. Uh. <laughs> Baby! Uh. Run! The fuck? Stay away from me. That's not fair. How are you gonna have me spamming? Why? Okay, at this point, I don't care. At this point, I like, why would I give a fuck? Like, why would I fucking care? Like, are you kidding me? How are you gonna have me spamming Y and then, and then put X immediately after? Like, whatever. Whatever, bro. At this point, yeah, you better fucking live. Get your ass up. Cause I, this is ridiculous. No, you can. can't. You're getting up. It's not optional. He's coming. Let's go. Run. I was about to rage. You guys have no idea. I was about to just say fuck it. I mean, everybody can die now. Don't stop. Oh my god. around what are you trying to do not die oh 
my god that was so much stress oh my god oh my god <laughs> oh my god Damn, still more premonitions? What is that? Who would that be? Was that the past or something? Like, was that when he was looking for us? I don't understand. And then, oh. Oh, this was trying to, oh my God. That was, that would have been if, I don't know, how would that even have worked? I don't know how that would have, what would have led to that? Oh, I guess if she, I mean, if she didn't send it backwards. If she didn't send it backwards, that definitely would have happened to us. Let's, hold on, let's see um, how everybody's getting along. Uh, let me move my camera so you guys can see with me. Um, so, uh, wait, Mark and I are like 10 out of 10. We're really getting along. Uh, Aaron is dead, so I mean, really, I'm not sure what, what this is what this is about. Um, Charlie and I are a little less than halfway, and then for some reason, Jamie and I are not doing well, like at all. But I did help her, so hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully it goes up. We've unlocked a lot of secrets. And then there's just the bearings. We've, we've, there are a lot of pictures I haven't found. Um, but you know, I'm sure we would have found more if Erin was alive. Like, I'm sure she would have found some on her path, but she's dead. So, <laughs> I mean, nothing we can do now. If it weren't for that barbed wire, we could just climb out. Oh man, that barbed wire is intense. Oh, this is locked. Maybe we can like, maybe there's like a, a pouch or something that we can lay on top of the barbed wire and climb over it. Let's see. Wait, no, but there was like an area over here that we could have gone through? Here? Was there a, a shimmy option? No, there's, there's not really a shimmy option there. Only way out is through. Oh fuck. This is not in our favor either, because this is his maze, not ours. We have no idea where we're going. But if we see him, we need to start working together. You hold one leg, I hold the other. Clean sweep. And then, like, get on top of him and, and like, dig his eyes out. Because, I mean, that's really what you... You gotta go for the most sensitive areas. Dig your fingers into their eyes. Because, I mean, nothing else is gonna work. If you're not as strong as this other person, the biggest thing you can do is go for the area that's super sensitive and like their eyes just like cuz that they are not going to recover well from that. It might piss them off, but yeah, they have a screwdriver. Take the screwdriver into his eye right there. You've thought about this? I am a little lady living in New York. <laughs> of course I've thought about this. Oh, the map. I guess this maze was a cute garden feature once. Okay. Got you, got you, got you. So where are we? This is the map, right? Where we're at? No. Oh, this is a dead end. No, it's this not. This is supposed to be a way out. Well. This is gross. Girl, gross. You. <laughs> there is no gross right now. We have to focus up. Stop. Why is the music doing that? What was that book you lent me? Navigating the Maze of Anxiety? Yeah, well, I could sure use that now. You know, it wasn't about mazes. Yeah, I got that bit. Look, I don't want it to come across as if I thought you had a problem. Just sometimes when I'm going through a shitty time, I just assume that everyone else is, too. I know. It was good. You read it? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, read all of it, actually. Are you serious? Yeah, I mean, not much of a plot, you know, not much character development, but... Some good stuff in there. It helped. Aww. Good. I'm glad. That's cute. I gave a copy to Charlie, but I don't think he's got round to opening it yet.
I know he's your son, but I married you for you, not your son. Besides, it's your ex-wife's responsibility to stop him from doing stupid things, not mine. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm maybe just depressed already because of this trip. It's not what I had in mind when you said you were taking me away to a secret island. I don't care if he is Harrison Lee, the famous horror fiction writer. You only, you only work for him. You, uh, you don't have to go on vacation with him, too. Can we spend some time, just the two of us? Dear Kurt, I thought it would be easier to write this down because I get upset when I try to talk to you about it. I'm in, sh I'm in distress. You know I don't get along with Thomas. I just don't get why we have to take him everywhere with us. By your own admission, he is a fucking nightmare, and it's getting me down having him around all the time. Damn, his son? Well, damn. See, this is supposed to be the exit, but we can't go that way. What's this? On? I don't want to look at this yet. Yeah, let's not turn anything on yet. You know what? We're going to keep going through this. Okay, this is to turn it on. Power up the control box, okay. That's what we gotta do. And then we have to press this. But I don't know what buttons I would press here. Maybe we can get this thing working. All right. Alright, so now we go over there and figure out what we're gonna do with those buttons, because I have no idea. <laughs> Seriously. What's this one? Oh, they all do different things. How about we turn off all of them except for... What was the first one? Turn it off. Okay, you can't turn them off now. Well... Pretty fast. Why would- why would you go down here? Like, why would you do that? 